Welcome everybody. Today we're going to be doing a animated invitation, evite, thank you card, birthday invitation, I don't know, whatever you can think to make it with. We're going to go over and make one in Canva. So let's go. So the first thing we need for this project is going to be an envelope. So I'm going to head over to my elements and what I use for this project is this envelope here, which is a brown envelope cutout. Now you might want to keep it this color. You might want to change the color of it. I'm going to personally change the color of it. So I'm going to go over to edit. I'm going into duotone. I'm just going to hit custom and make it this gray color. Then I'm going to go out of duotone and I'm going to go into adjust. I'm going to turn the brightness up till it gets almost a little bit of an off white. And then I'm going to wiggle my contrast around till I find the perfect color that I want. So if I like that color, that's what I'm going to stick with and we're good to go after that. And I have the color of my envelope. The second thing I need to do, because I need three copies of this envelope, is I'm going to go ahead and duplicate this page. So I need another envelope. And what I want to do is I'm going to take the lip off right here and I'm going to go down to the top line. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go File, Download, and I'm going to download it as a PNG. And then I'm going to pick my page out. I'm going to pick page two. Done. Download. Now while that's downloading, I'm going to go over to Remove BG. Even though I have Pro, I really want to use Remove BG because it's going to be way easier than doing it in Canva. So I'm going to upload my file. Now what I want to do is it remove the background, which is perfectly what I want. But I want to go back and erase. And I want to erase. I'm going to make this a little bit bigger in here so I can see. Uh-oh, it's doing weird stuff. Uh, don't do that because it didn't work. And I want to erase this interior part right here on the inside. So I'm just going to go here and I'm going to have remove BG, erase that spot there. And as you can see, I have my outline that I want done and download. And then I'm going to come back into my uploads, upload a file. I'm going to upload it into Canva. For some reason, the drag and drop is not working for me. I don't know if it's my computer or Canva itself. So I'll go back into my uploads. I'm going to grab that. And then I'm going to take all that extra spacing off of it because I don't need it. And then I have part two. So we'll go and grab our full one and bring it over to the second page here. And then we'll delete this first page. So here's the three pieces that I need for my animation. I need a cut part. I'm going to take the second one. I'm going to layer it right on top. And what I'm going to do is I am going to move my bar all the way here. So to the line where the fold is. And then I'm going to take this, I'm going to take the position of this, and I am going to put this above both of those. I am going to size it. If it comes in from Remove BG a little blurry, always, you can always go into the, over here to your edit settings and do an image upscaler to it, and that'll work out. So you can go, and now we're going to lace this right on top, over top of our envelope. Now that we got our envelope set up, if you want to put anything fancy on it, like I did um, a little party thing there, um, when I put my envelope top down. So what I'm going to do for my top on my first frame is I want to make sure that it's butted up against this. So if it's not, I'm going to click on it. I use my arrow keys. So what I'm going to do is just go bump, 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 bump down. I'm using the down button until it's right on top of there. So I don't see any line behind it. And you can go ahead. I'll go into elements. What was that picture that I used earlier? I just put this, set it as the background image. And then what I did is just reduce the transparency just to give it a little flare behind there. And then what you want to do is you want to take your top piece, you want to flip it vertical, and then you want to bring it down on top. So make sure we're going to position tab. See, it's going behind my thing. I want it on top. 
So I want to do that and I want to lace it down on top. So now it looks like a closed envelope. And then I just went in and grabbed this little symbol that was in there to make it look like a little mark on here to make it look a little fancy. So that is my envelope set up. Now the next thing I want to do to set my page up, um, let's see, I uploaded. So if you've got anything fancy going on, you're going to want to go ahead and upload it. See, that was a template that I changed up a little bit. You want to go ahead and create those and then download them as PNGs and then bring them back into Canva so you can make them you want however you want to. You can put them in frames. You can do whatever you want to put them in here. I turn them all sideways like so. And then you're just going to reduce the size and see where they're going to fit in your envelope. So I'm going to do that. I think I want to move my envelope down. So what I'm going to do is highlight all these. It's grabbing the picture too, but that's okay. Oh, no, nope, it didn't grab the picture. So I'm going to move my envelope down a little bit. And then I just grabbed, let's see, some more pictures. What was I, I had an end thing too. I think that was upload. But I made that. No, I just made that with a square, didn't I? So like my thank you thing, I made that with a square and just went in here and put some gradient on it. I think I did another, let's do this. Something like that. And then I just added some text uh, here. I just added that, that's what I did. And then we just smushed it down do like that. And then I took those two. Let's highlight those two. Hold on. Let's go into position. Take that control key, control key group. So that was like my end one. So we get this. So this one I'm going to do a little different. So I'm going to put this over to the side. And then you can go and just grab some more pictures. You can put them into frames if you want to. I did that in the original one, but you don't have to. You can just and just start lacing them up inside your envelope. You can turn them in different sideways if you want to. So they give it when they come out, they spin a little bit more. And we're just doing a couple pictures so I can just show you technique. So now what I want to do is take all those and I want to put them in between. They need to be behind this mask right here. So you see that mask there? They need to be behind that mask. Oh, we don't need that. That one goes up top here. And then, so now you can see our pictures are hidden in our envelope. And this one I'm going to do a little something special at the end. So what I want to do is just reduce the size to teeny, teeny, teeny. And then I'm going to take that and I'm going to put that in the thing. All of the transparency all the way down. Why didn't it take my text down? Hold on, home. Love action troubleshooting here. Let's do that. Transparency all the way down. There we go. That's what we want. All right, and we're just going to put that there. And just so it doesn't get in the way, I'm just going to shove that in the back. So I'm going to take it all the way to the bottom of my positions tab. That means it's all the way in the back. Part one, done. You're set up. Everything's set up, ready to move. We can move that out the way now. Part two, what we want to do, I want to get that a little bit more centered. There we go. All right, I'm going to duplicate this page. So what I want to do now is take a, whatever you got here on your lip or your flap and delete it. So I want to go ahead and delete that. And then I'm going to take my flap. I'm going to highlight it, make sure it's highlighted. I'm going to flip it vertically up. And then I am going to take it and lace it on top of my envelope. And then I'm going to check my envelope and make sure that's not any spacing between my envelope back and my envelope front piece. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate this page again because I need to go and move my flat position below my photos. Because if I don't, so if I, you see here, if I went to move one of my photos, let me grab a photo and it comes out, it's going behind my flap. So you're going to need that extra one here to make that movement because if you move it too far too early it's going to 
your photos and everything is going to be on the wrong layer. So you need that extra little frame right here, page, to make sure that it comes up over top of, they come up over top. So if I grab one now, as you can see, hold on, let's try to grab that. They're going on top and not underneath. So now I've got my front set up. Oh, we want to do this kind of fast. So I'm going to take these down to about one second or less. And now here where we come with the animation kicks in. Now we might want to adjust these and we can adjust them later if we need to. But for now, what I want to do now is I got my flap open and I got my page moved. So I'm going to duplicate the page and what I'm going to do is grab my first one. So my first picture I want because this would be like a thank you for coming to my wedding. I never got married so it wouldn't be a real thank you for me but you can go and have that come out like so and come out on top. So what I'm going to do after it comes out on top, I want this one to come back in. So I'm going to grab this page three. You're going to grab page three a lot. So just always remember, grab page three. I'm going to duplicate this page and I am going to bring it around to the back side now. And then what I'm going to do with the, the page that I've just brought around is I am going to grab my next photo that I want to come out. So I'm going to grab this photo and I'm going to pull it out. And I'm going to spin it a little bit. Maybe I want to keep that a little bit on an angle. And maybe bring it out and bring it up. Then what I'm going to do is go back to page 3. Duplicate page 3. Bring it around to the end. Grab my next photo that I want. So I want this photo to come out. I want this photo to come out. And maybe I want that to come out. and go look pretty up top. Then I'm going to go back to page three. I'm going to duplicate that page one more time and I'm going to go over here. And then because all my photos are done, what I'm going to do is now I'm going to go and grab a page one, duplicate that page and bring that to the end. So that's going to have my envelope closed. So this one's going to, this one's going to bring my photo back in here. And this one is going to make my top piece close. And then I'm going to go and add one more. I'm going to duplicate one more time. I am going to grab everything here. Hold on. I don't want to grab that little middle piece there. I want to grab everything down here, shrink it down to the corner, maybe put it off a little catty corner like so. I want to grab that one we've been hiding the entire time. What I want to do is make sure I got all of that and turn the transparency all the way back up. It's not grabbing my, there we go. Turn the transparency all the way up on that and then bring it forward. So now I've got everything set up the way I want it set up. The next thing I'm going to do is start putting animation in places that I need. So not everything here is going to be animated. So your first, second, you don't want to start your animation until your third one in. So I'm going to go here. I'm going to put my match and move in. I'm going to turn it all the way up. So I want these around two a piece. So I'm just going to go into my timing up here. And I'm going to put like 2.2 because once I put the match and move in, it's going to reduce it anyway. So I'm going to apply to all pages. That way I can refix these ones and it's easier to fix the little ones at the beginning than it is the whole center that we need here. So we're going to make everything 2.2. I'm going to cut that off and then undo this because now if you start adjusting one, it'll start adjusting all of them. So make sure your little thing is not purple here once you get your timing in. So I'm going to go and I'm going to take my match and move and I'm going to turn it all the way up. As you can see, it's going to reduce those down to two. And then I am just going to put my match and move between all of them and we'll go and take them off the ones we don't want. So of course that changes everything again. I need it at two seconds to enter. Let's go. All right. So now what I want to do is I want to take the 
animation off of this one, the animation off of this one. I want to take these back down to less than a second or a second or less. I want to take this down to a second or less. I don't want 1.1 seconds. Let's do like half for the flip. And you can always, as you can see, look, if you leave that purple thing on, as you know, if you look, see if I adjust this, it adjusts all of them. So just make sure that you cut that purple thing off. It used to not do that. It was just when you clicked it, but now it just keeps going. So let's go back to adjusting. Down, down, down. And this one right here should be none. This one should be a match and move. So it should be none, none, match and move, match and move, match and move, match and move, none, match and move. So let's see what we got. We got open. We got the first one coming out. Okay. So that one is a little fast. Let's turn the duration up on that and get that out. And then we can spread this out a little bit back to two. All right. So let's go from the open, open. Here goes the first one come out, the second one comes out, third one comes out, then it goes back in, we close. So when it goes back in, we want to shorten that one. We want to shorten that one up. We don't want it to take forever and be like a long dry spot. So that's what you're going to do. You're going to manipulate these times to each one. It's not like a simple everything's the same timing, which would make it easier. It's going to be different timings for different ones. So... Like if you wanted this because it's an invitation and you want somebody to be able to read it, you're going to go and make that like two and a half seconds so they can be able to read what you have on your card. And then your last one, maybe you're going to do for three seconds so they can read the thank you. So we need to put that a little bit more center. And take our little card here. Move that a little bit further down. But if we look all the way through it, let's do a final lap. And while I was doing a final lap, I'd like to thank you guys for coming and hanging out with me and learning this cool little trick about an animated invitation. Um, thank you note, whatever you want to use it for. Oh, hold on. We need to turn that up. Let's take this. See, check that match and move is really, really short. Let's turn that up. We want, we want that to slide in. So let's look at that real quick. There we go. Much, much better. So, like you said, just, just... Play and manipulate it. You're going to have to manipulate this a little bit more. You're going to have, it's a little more intricate when it comes to matching, what's not match and move and what is match and move. But it does wind up pretty. So again, I want to thank you guys for stopping by. I love you guys. And I hope to see you on the next one. Bye y'all.